Welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth, and we have yet another puzzle for you today. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you'd recognize my background. So this is where we're staying near Lake Essio in Italy. And I did actually mention in my last video that this was be the last recording in that location. Um, it's not that we've extended our stay, it's just I thought I'd use the opportunity before we check out and head out to our next destination to record one. Now, the next destination is a castle, which I'm apprehensive, but quite excited and looking forward to. You know, the idea of staying at a castle is always sounds romantic, but at the same time, it's probably impractical. I'm imagining it will be cold, damp, you know, you've got stone walls, stone floors from centuries ago. But certainly the pictures of the place look the part. It seems renovated and comfortable, but still a castle. So... Tune in tomorrow for the next puzzle where I'll give you an update about how that went. With that said, let's take a look at what we have for today. And we have no, not the V's, in brackets, Nicolas Cage by GDC. And I actually have a reference here that says this is about an infamous scene from The Wicker Man. You may have guessed that from the thumbnail picture earlier, that this is essentially when Nicolas Cage, as part of the Nicolas Man, the... Wicker Man scene was essentially shouting something very similar. Now, with that said, let's take a look at the rules that we have for today. So, we have normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, so, that means the digits 1 through to 9 in every row, every column, and as usual, every box as well. Now, on the lines, adjacent digits differ by 5 or more. So, essentially, German whisper rules where it says, if this is a high digit, 6, 7, or 8, or 9 then this will be a low digit of one, two, three, four, and you oscillate between polarities. Cells joined by a V sum to five, and we have many of them sprayed throughout the puzzle. No negative constraints today, so... Yeah, something to me, just keep in mind, because the negative constraints in other XV Sudoku variants we featured on the channel has been immensely helpful in the solve. Lastly, we have digits in a cage there is only one cage, this one here, are odd and cannot repeat. And that's all the rules we have. You know, viewers of this channel will know that we are often featuring Sudoku variant puzzles. And with these additional constraints that we have today, so German Whispers, VSUM, and this odd cage, somehow we are going to be able to solve this puzzle, which has zero digits in the grid. Uh, very generous as usual, GDC. Now, if you want to play along, link will be in the description down below, as usual. If you do, and you do enjoy it, please do leave a comment. Uh, I do immensely enjoy reading them. And with that said, let's restart the clock and see how we got on with today's puzzle. So, first thing I always do with an XV puzzle is just color everything that I know will be low digits. And essentially, that's just because... There's only two ways of making five in a V domino. It's either one, four, or two, three, which is especially handy because it also allows you to distinguish them. So, for example, if I decide this is blue and it's looking at this cell, clearly these are green, as in they're a different pair. So if that's the two, three, that's the one, four. We don't know which one it is, but we know they're different. So that would be blue, that would be blue, uh, that would be green. We've got a blue cell here, so this would be green as well. Because that's blue, that's looking down at this, this would be green. And I don't know the color of this one I'm going to venture. I think that's an accurate statement to say, so that's either blue or green, we don't know yet. Because, you know, nothing wrong with this being two blues. You know, let's say one and four. Right, now what this tells us very helpfully is, here's another example, is a lot of these Vs are on... Yeah, a lot of these Vs happen to be on German Whispers. So we know where the high digits are and the low digits. What we also now know is these two cells are green because blue's gone in box three. 
but we still need low digits, so these have to be green. This has to be blue because in the row, these two greens are gone. With that blue, essentially all the low digits in actually in row two are gone. We'll need another green somewhere in here. We'll figure out how to place it momentarily. What else do we know? Take a look at box five. We actually know more than you may think. So we've already placed three low digits. And because of the way it oscillates, I'm going to actually use some colors to do this. These two are the same polarity, and this is the other polarity. Now, if orange was low, we'd end up with five lows in box five. So clearly that is not the case. Orange is high, and the purple cell here is blue. And you can see the negative constraint clearly doesn't apply. Otherwise, we would have had another V in here. That tells us finally the color of this V. That's not blue. That's green. Let me do that again. And do we know anything else yet? We know that this has to be blue. So does this. Do we know all the colors? Almost. Well, polarity of all the German whispers. Very nearly. That is a blue because we've got two greens in the row. And we've placed all the low digits you can see in column five. So these two are high, this one is low, and it has to be blue because in the row we place the two greens. Last German whisper, do we know the polarity of this one here? So nothing stops us from having both of these as low, as far as I could tell, because in the column, we've only placed three, that would be the fourth, that's not a problem. And same in the row, we've got two place and that would be another two so there is no issue with that but there would be an issue with this being low because we've got the two blues the two greens so that's high that's a blue and that has to be green we place two blues in the column already and we've now colored basically everything all the German whispers, all the V's. What I'm tempted to do now is basically just double check that I have successfully placed all the low digits in the grid, or at least colored them. So essentially, you know, I'm missing a green, for example, in box one. We know it's not here. It's not in column one because we've got these two. It's not in this row because we've got these two greens. It's not in this row because we've got these two greens. It's somewhere in here. No, it's not somewhere in here. It is exactly here because in the column we've got these two greens as well. So we've got four in this box, four in this box, four in this box. We need another blue in here, which I'm going to say we don't actually know where it is yet. So it's some one of these two cells, pardon me. Box five is fine. We need a blue, which is not here, not there. Therefore, it is here. And two greens, not there. So they're not in the same column. In fact, not in the same row either because of this V. And I'm saying not in the same column because we've already got two, you know, one and one in each. So essentially, they're a diagonal. Either it's this is green or this is green. We just don't know which it is yet. We need two blues in here. Actually, we now know this is not the blue. This is the blue. This is not blue. This is not blue. We need, again... Blues, two of them in this quadrant. We're not, maybe we're not getting as far as I was hoping, really. Greens in box eight. This actually has to be green, otherwise, we won't have the two greens we need in column four. And we now need it for sure in here, because we need a second green. It's not in this cell because. We've got two in the columns, not this cell because we've got two in the columns, not in these two because we've got two in the row. So that's the remaining green. We need a second blue in box nine. 
not there, not there, not here. Again, two blues, two blues, two blues. It can only be in here. And we've got the same thing happening in here somewhere where either these two are blue or these two are blue. We don't know the order of it yet. Right, let's see what we know about all of this now. So this, remember, in the cage, these have to be from one and three. Both of these, actually. So this is one and three because it has to be low and it's odd. And that's the other one and three. And it says it cannot repeat in the rule sets. So this, remember, has to add to five. So it's a counterpart of whatever this is. So that would be two, four, one, three, two, four. Part B4, German whispers would put two nines in here in the same box so that's not true that's two three two three one four and we have digits plenty of digits actually um four and one nine two three two three two three two three two three two Three, two. That's correct, yep. Yeah. Two, three, four. Apologies, I know I'm going a little bit quick, but hopefully this is fairly obvious Sudoku at this point. Um, I'm going to venture and say we don't actually know which one it is, because both of these could be, either of these could be nine. In fact, one of them has to be 9 because one of them is a 4. Um, but we don't know which one it is. That can be a 1, 4 again. That's 1, 4. Don't know. Don't know either. And also don't know. Bit of a shame. Um, we can probably solve this given we placed all the 3s and 2s. So... Three, as you can see, is in none of, none of these, or this cell. Just got four threes looking into the box, so this is placed, this is fixed. It's a three. And then the two, again, we've got this two, these two and these two looking into the box, eliminating every box but these two. So that's that box done. Don't know what's going on here yet. Right, this is eight, nine. 8, 9. Um, this has to be from 7, 8, and 9. In fact, this has to be from 8 and 9. It can't be 7 because we have a 3 up here. Looking into it, 5 away would pace 8 or 9. And we actually know this because in the column we've got a 9. So that's 8, that's 9, that's 7, that's 8. This is 5 and 6. We've got it's a 7 or 9, depending on this whether this is 1 or 4. This is 8 or 9, because we've got a 3 looking at it from the German Whispers. And this is 7, 8 or 9. Again, 7, 8 or 9. This is an 8, 9 pair, yep. Yeah. Which tells us that this is a 7 therefore this has to be a 1 and a 4, 1, 4, 1, 4. Interestingly, we don't know, we do, we may do, we may do it still. Let's have a look. So I'm guessing, right, so 4s are here, and 1s are here, and they're, remember, in different rows, but we actually don't know how to solve it yet. And I'm hoping that the other digits, you know, the red digits and the five, will help us figure out the order because this is clearly not going to be how we're going to break the placement of this, these digits. Right, so we need... We actually know what this is. So remember, we have to place... Only odd digits that do not repeat. So we actually have to place 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. We've got a 5-cell cage. There are 5 odd digits. This is the 5. 
neither of these are five now we've got seven nine seven nine seven nine pair here is helpful that's a five six these seven nines mean we've got a six eight on the outside You know, I was it was going incredibly well that I thought this is going to finish quickly, but somehow the puzzle is actually getting harder as you're making progress. I don't know how GDC managed that, but it certainly seems like he has. And I think I'm correct in saying GDC is a he. He's commented before on one of the videos confirming his gender. Right, so we need to place 5, 6, and 7... And unfortunately, we don't know where they are in this column. Have we done all the German whispers? So 7, 8, and 9 are still valid. There we go. We've got this 4. This tells us that's the 9. That's the 8. We need to place 5, 6, and 7 again in the row. And again, we don't know what they are. Any other German whispers that's helping us resolve anything? And the answer to that is no. Eight and nine means we've got five and six to be placed. And again, we don't know what the, they are. Right, column. So this is six and eight. Helpful, that's not six. Not that helpful. This is a five or seven. Also not that helpful. It's not creating any doubles, triplets, quadruple that I'm spotting. This nine is looking at this. Therefore, that's the seven. That's probably been there a while. And I'm guessing a few of you have been shouting at your screen saying, you know, sleuth, pay attention. This nine is looking up here. Um, this nine doesn't actually give us anything. This is a six or seven. It's five, six or seven, but we've got a five in the box. This seven doesn't help us here. This nine, other than eliminating an option at the top, doesn't really help us. These two nines tell us that this is a nine. These two nines tell us that the nine is here. Nine is there. And nine is here. So we've placed all the nines. Pardon me, I'm just having a look around to see if there is any other obvious things I have missed again, but it doesn't seem like I have. I'm just going to color these for, you know, my sanity more than anything else, just to help me spot things. Not sure it really has been very successful so far. Maybe the fives are helpful. Nope. Okay, that's a 7, 8, because we placed all the other digits, or at least in pairs, so that's 7, 8. Therefore, we need to place 5, 6, and 1. So that's from 5 and 6. With this, yeah, that's 8, that's 6, that's 5, that's 6, that's 5, that's a 6, 7 pair leaving an eight in here right we're moving again that's not six that's not six either that's the six 
that's the five, seven. Five, did that seven help anywhere? Nope. Where does the seven go here? Yeah, both options are still valid. We still need to place a six, which would go somewhere in here with one of five or seven. Still need to have five, seven, and four. Well, the four goes here because we've got five, seven in the row. There is the final low digits. That's got to be five, seven as well. This is the six, wasn't it? To complete the box. We need five, six, and seven. So that's five or six. This is still, unfortunately, all possible. Looking up here, we need five or six. We know what that is, six. We know that this is from seven or eight. Incredibly unresolved. Although that five tells us that's a seven. Say that five, this five down here. Therefore, that's the eight. That's the seven, the eight, the six, the eight. And I think we're basically solved it at this point. Five. Yeah, five, seven, five and seven says six, five, six, and yeah, we're pretty much solved this now. I've not made any mistakes. That's the solution to today's puzzle. Superb puzzle once again from GDC. Um, I think, you know, GDC's setting in general is always phenomenal. Um, there's a very logical, and really, you almost don't need to go down the route of kind of trial and error, which I always immensely appreciate about uh, GDC's puzzles. There is a very obvious break-in to get you going, and you know if you're paying attention to where digits, you know where you've completed a little of a row, a column, or a box. You can continuously make steady progress and eliminate some of the many options that you have available. But um, what a phenomenal puzzle, GDC. Thank you so much for creating it and sharing it with us. Hope you enjoyed today's video and see you back for the next puzzle. Bye for now.